Hi, and welcome to a quick video on limiting factors. These are the things that will de define and determine where life can exist. So there are non-limiting, uh, non-living factors, we call those the abiotic factors, uh, that can affect where this plant can grow. And there's also biotic factors that can affect where this plant can grow. Let me, let me give you an example of this. So down here we see a line, a population of a plant or an animal that's really happy now. There's a lot of food, there's a lot of space for it. So that population grows and grows until these arrows hold it back and push it down and that population finds a balance. What are those arrows that are pushing it down? Those are the limiting factors and they can be all kinds of things out there from uh, food shortages. So basically there's not enough food for this animal that's exploding in its population and all of a sudden they're competing, they're eating everything. There's not a lot of food out there anymore. That's going to limit the growth of the population. Limit. It's a limiting factor. Um, water. If you run out of water, that's going to limit how any population from plants to animals can, can grow. Um, space. The more things that we have, the more people on this planet, we run out of space. That's a limiting factor for the human population. Um, disease, as we know about uh, coronavirus and other diseases as well, they limit how far we can push um, populations. Predation. Uh, think about zebras in the Serengeti, for example. The number of lions will limit how many uh, how many zebras there might be. Uh, water and soil pH as climate changes. It changes uh, what can live inside of that water. Um, also, the different soil types that limits who who can live there. Here's a, a practical example of uh, thinking about limiting factors when we're talking about plants. Um, there's some key terminology here. We're trying to find out oftentimes in science classes what the optimal range is. So what is, what's the perfect range of temperature, of soil pH, soil type, um, amount of water that you add? If you're a farmer, you need to know these things because you want the biggest plants. And you need to find out, well, what stresses these plants out? What stresses them in terms of um, nutrients? What kind of factors limit their growth? What are their limiting factors? Um, some plants have a very narrow band where they can grow. Other plants can grow all over the place, everywhere. Um, they have fewer limiting factors. So very, that's a very quick one on limiting factors between abiotic, the non-living, and biotic, the living factors. Uh, so I hope that helped understand what limiting factors are.